Hey there, Doc J here. This is uh, probably one of my more unique videos. I'm really happy to be out here and uh, share this with you. Doing a little fishing over here at uh, Black Point, back behind Brigantine, back behind Brigantine, and. Since I'm outside, what I think would be appropriate would be a little bit more of a conversation about the importance of vitamin D. Now, vitamin D is the sunshine vitamin. It's only manufactured in the body by doses of sunshine. So you, the only other way you can get vitamin D is through um, added nutrients in your food, like they'll put vitamin D in milk, or you can take a, a vitamin D supplement to get your vitamin D. Now, vitamin D is important for lots of things. It's probably most mainly known for its benefit to strong bones and teeth. It's one of the important ingredients that makes your uh, bones healthy and strong, but over the years we have seen plenty of research that's shown vitamin D is important for other things. It has anti-cancer properties. Son of a gun. There's always a bird that drops in every now and then. I hope you guys got that. Startled me. I was looking at you. I didn't see it from behind. But vitamin D has anti-cancer properties. Research has shown that it can help prevent colon cancer and, um, and, and a few other cancers. But where its benefit really shines is that it's an important part of your immune system. And it can really support immune system function and help your immune, immune system to perform better and to help your body be healthier. This is sort of why, um, and I've, you've, I've, read, I've written about this ad nauseum in my newsletters, but it's why there is a flu season in the winter time. You're not out getting the proper sun exposure. Here we go. What the heck was that? That's a nice little bite there. All right, give me a little pause. Tighten up your drag. Whoa, he's pulling out a little bit. Let's see what we got here. Oh, that's a nice little flounder. I don't know if it's a uh, keeper. Come on, baby. This is uh, what you call solo fishing, all right, so let's see what we got here, yeah. that one is probably not quite big enough to keep, but you know what we do, we'll just uh, pull out the old tape measure, and see if we got a keeper here. All right, so from tip, he is, there we go, close that mouth. Close that mouth, don't bite me. And, oh, look at him, he's right on the nose, 18 inches. All right, usually I catch 17 inch and 17 and a half inch fish, but this one is uh, the legal limit of 18 inches. So what I'm going to do, and we'll get back to vitamin D, um, let's take him, let's take him off, or up, he's just, he just, uh, he just snagged my, uh, he just uh, dropped the um, hook out of his mouth, so lucky me, there's a nice little 18 incher. And just, you know, just to put this in perspective, I basically got out here, turned the camera on, and started fishing. So this is, this is the first fish in the about of time I've been here. So we'll put him in the box. And we'll keep that. And then we'll see. So I've been really lucky lately on these... Um, on these five or these six inch salmon grubs from uh, Berkeley Gulp and they're salmon color and I put a little uh, almost uh, reddish pink jig head on there with an eyeball 
and then just bounce it off the bottom. So that was pretty cool. And I'm glad I usually come out here and fish and and my wife always says if or you know if they were if it was about catching fish, they would call it catching, not fishing. And this summer I've been catching, so I'm very happy about that. Um, so anyway, vitamin D is very important with immune system health. It's why we have a flu season in the wintertime. People are outside and they're, they're catching um, sun rays and it builds their vitamin D up and there's less flu and colds in the summertime. So wintertime, you're indoors, you're not getting your vitamin D. So vitamin D um, is extremely important in the immune system and with viruses and all the other things around in our air, it's important to have normal levels of vitamin D. If you don't know what your level of vitamin D is, I could send you for um, a lab test over at LabCorp, get your vitamin D checked, and we could find out where we need to go from there. But, and that's all about taking supplementation. So, we want vitamin D in our body. Now, the best way to get vitamin D naturally is through the sun. So we have to get what you would call healthy sun exposure. Remember, we were all, years, we are talking about sun burning and being afraid of the sun and, and too much sun is going to cause cancer. Well, getting burned can cause skin cancer. But there's a healthy amount of exposure to the sun and usually that's about 20 to 35 minutes of sun and that's enough to make um, some vitamin D in your body. The only trick is it has to be full body sun exposure. So even though I'm out here fishing, you know, I'm wearing my, uh, my long sleeve uh, SPF 50 shirt, I got a SPF shorts, got a hat covering my back of my neck, sunglasses on. I'm not getting the full kind of sun exposure that you would need to get vitamin D. That's that flounder jumping around in there. Did you know what they call flounder in this area is com commonly called flounder is not actually flounder. Their name is actually fluke. Flounder um, is a different fish and it's called winter flounder. But for some reason in South Jersey, um, flounder is synonymous with fluke. But if you head above Tom's River and go north, everybody goes fluke fishing, not flounder fishing. Anyway, I digress. So I'm wearing SPF clothing, but you want to get full body sun exposure. Meaning, you know, you need to be in your bathing suit um, for guys with your shirt off. And you got to lay out for 30 minutes and get your sun. After 30 minutes, you... Um, head back into under your umbrella or put your clothes on put your sunblock on and that'll protect you from getting burned but you got to get that 30 minutes so if you're not out and you're not getting sunshine the only other way to do it is through supplementation and you have to get vitamin d3 and the trick is as i tell people all the time dg you have to um take a thousand units per 35 for 35 pounds of body weight so you do the math you multiply out and that's what you um, that's what you take so someone of my weight is probably taking about 8,000 units a day and someone lighter is taking a little less like my uh, family takes 5,000 units a day because they don't get any sun in the summer I don't really take a lot of vitamin D just a couple thousand for maintenance because I'm out in the sun a lot so vitamin D supplementation is very important and it's also important to take vitamin K with your vitamin D because vitamin K helps the D get absorbed better into your bloodstream and to be more efficient in boosting your immune system. And also, if you're interested um, in getting the most out of vitamin D for your bones, 
and um, to prevent osteoporosis, it's good to take magnesium with vitamin D because it helps get it into the bones a little better. So vitamin D is very important. It's especially important. More and more studies are showing that even during the times of this virus now, the people who are more susceptible to having severe cases of vitamin D are patients who um, have low D levels. All right, so let's get the vitamin D up. Let's go out and get some sun. Don't get your skin burned. And get some supplementation if you're not going to be outside because vitamin D is very important. And I've drifted sort of, I guess, out of my fishing spot where I want to be. Um, I want to be back where I caught that last fish. So I am going to um, end this video right now. And what I do want to say to you is I am so happy that you got to see that in action because um, now a lot of you will probably think I'm just a, an expert fisherman when in reality I do put a little a lot of time in fishing but man that was what you call dumb luck I mean drop your there he goes again. But that's what you call dumb luck, and I'm glad you got to experience it. All right, so I am going to shut the camera off, and I will um, talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Oh, look, wait, before I shut the camera off, here comes a, a pretty big boat over here. They like to speed by here. They're usually from Viking Yacht or something. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Yeah, one of those big, big boys coming around.